Whoa, whoa, what's this? It's a good camera. That's ridiculous. I've never seen a good camera before. Good evening, myself and most it is Saturday, and I had surgery on Thursday, so I don't think there's going to be a whole lot going on this week. So I'm going to make this video, it's just going to be me talking, uh, maybe share some stories for y'all. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. So if you're wondering what the surgery was, I had um, half of my right large tunnel uh, cut out and I had my entire left large toenail removed because they were ingrown and I actually had a staph infection which means if they didn't operate on, on it they would have had to cut off my feet um, and I didn't really want that so I decided to go for the uh, less painful procedure. Now the thing about the painful procedure is that most of the middle-aged men and like people that are quite older than me and what I presume would be rather tougher than me they were like crying for like three days after the procedure and what I was doing is after the procedure I was taking these heavy pain medication for like I don't know 24 hours afterwards and then I still felt no pain at all and it was like okay this is weird so I just stopped taking them and now it's been about a day since I've taken any, any pain pills at all and I still have no pain whatsoever so that's some sort of a miracle, and I have no idea what's actually going on with my body at the moment. Maybe I am some sort of supernatural being. Like, I've actually got some crutches over here that Tonto was looking after for me, and I was preparing to not be able to walk for a good two weeks, but I've been walking around, I've been fine. Um, I still can't work because I've got these huge-ass bandages on my feet, and I don't think I actually should be putting any weight on them, so I've just been chilling at home. Uh, for the last few days, so that's why I can't really offer any entertainment for you guys. Now another little piece of news is um, everybody that was in year 12, uh, where I went to high school, just graduated. And I realized that I didn't graduate because the people in authority where I went to high school found my YouTube channel full of vlogs and then they decided to expel me for the content of those vlogs. That was about a quarter way through year 12 for me. And then I realized that, because after that, I decided to take all of my videos down because I don't want to be any, like, legal trouble. I'd rather just be expelled, I'd rather move on with my life, and that's it. But I just realized I moved 250 kilometers away from my school, so I can do whatever the hell I want. So the good news is, anybody that misses any of the old videos back from, like, 2012, I'm gonna put those back up. Some of them are missing because I deleted a lot of them permanently. I didn't just make them unlisted, but all of the ones that I did just make unlisted, I'm gonna make public again, so now you can just go through my channel and you can check all those ones out. Now, it's time for a story, so this video is completely useless. Um, last week at work, actually let's just talk about some work stories. I work as a cash register in a supermarket. I'm not the actual register. I'd like to be, that'd be cool. But no, I work as a cashier. And basically, this one woman came up to me. I'm like, oh, how you doing? And she just didn't respond. I'm like, okay, that's weird. And then I just kept doing it all. And I'm like, oh, do you want to cash out? And she just stared at me and didn't respond. I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on? Why won't you just talk to me? I was getting really offended. Like, I kind of, I deserved some sort of acknowledgement, as you would imagine. And then I was like, I looked at her son. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? And then her son was like, oh, true. And he looked at his mom and did some sign language, and she's like, "Oh no, I don't want any cash out." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh shit, she's uh, she's deaf." That that was awful. Um, next awful story: a four-year-old came up to me the other day and told me that it was his birthday on Saturday, and I'm like, "Oh cool, what do you want for your birthday?" And without missing a beat, immediately he just looked at me dead in the eye. Hello. Yeah, without skipping a beat, he just looked at me dead in the eye with a completely straight face and just said. A fake chook and a sausage roll. <laughs> and it was the hardest I've ever laughed at work. I think that's it. If anything else happens this week, I'll film it, but I am very skeptical about that. So, on that note, I'll uh, see you next week because no shit is happening. To prove that no shit is happening, I just woke up and took a shower and let's just have a look at the time here. It's 5.30 in the afternoon. So, I'm a, I'm a wreck, and I'll see you next week.